As the title suggests, the subject of this video excretes vast amounts of honeydew. Let's meet the gum tree scale and see what happens when it produces all that honeydew. Welcome to One Minute Bugs. One day on a walk in my local area, I noticed ants streaming up the trunk of a young roadside gum tree. I knew there just had to be sap-sucking insects up there somewhere that were producing honeydew. Ants love the stuff. Some of the ants climbing the trunk are in more of a hurry than others. But we need to go back a step or two. What is honeydew? Most sap-sucking insects suck phloem sap. And phloem sap is very high in sugar. There's more information on phloem sap and xylem sap in the spittlebug video. Most sap-sucking insects, including gum tree scales, don't need all that sugar, and it passes out their rear end as honeydew. So it's really sweet fluid. The trail of ants led up to a group of gum tree scales that were dripping with honeydew. The ants were joined by other insects also attracted to the honeydew, including this ensign fly. On some clusters of gum tree scales, there was a variety of insects, including bull ants and various other ants, as well as several species of flies. But some clusters of gum tree scales were dripping honeydew everywhere, and it was like honeydew rain. I'm so glad I could video this so I could actually show you how this honeydew was raining down onto the leaves below, upon which some of the ants were feeding. Direct from the gum tree scales or indirectly off the leaves, the sugar lovers didn't seem to care. Publications on insects, including my own, will tell you that ants will protect honeydew producing insects from predators and parasites. And in return, they get to feed on that sweet honeydew. But some predators and parasites make it through the ant gauntlet. Here is a ladybird larva right under the nose, uh, antennae, of a spiny ant. I wasn't sure which ladybird it was, so I collected a couple of specimens so I could take it back into the lab and photograph it under high magnification. Now we can see it. It's a well-known predator of gum tree scales. In fact, it's called the gum tree scale ladybird. Another name for it is black ladybird, and that name comes from the adult. It seemed that the ants didn't even notice the ladybird larvae. Perhaps it was because they were kind of flattened and scale-like, or maybe it was because the ants were off their face on a huge sugar rush. But actually, all jokes aside, the science is in on this one. Gum tree scale ladybird larvae have two ways of protecting themselves. Firstly, they remain perfectly still when ants are about, and then when the ants move off, it's time for the ladybird larva to start moving again. Research shows that in this stop-start manner, the larvae can move safely away from the ants. Now, if the ants actually do um, bite one of the ladybird larvae, then the second protection kicks in, um, which is a red fluid that the uh, larvae release from special glands on their abdomen. That fluid is repugnant to the ants, especially if the fluid uh, makes contact with the ants uh, mouth parts or antennae. Now back to the gum tree scales themselves. They are members of the felt scale family Eriococcidae, and we've met members of that family before on this channel. Felted Kunzia scale and the tea tree flower gall scale. I'll put some links in the description. The reason why this family is known as felted scales can easily be seen with adult female gum tree scale. As you can see here, the scale covering, technically known as a test, is kind of felt-like. And of course the female is inside. Here's a nice group of newly formed adult female gum tree scales exuding honeydew, which is probably a good time to ask the question, are gum tree scales pests? Not on that little tree they're not. These are native insects and it's perfectly normal to find them on gum trees in the bush. They can be unsightly on young isolated trees such as those in gardens because sooty mould 
may grow on the honeydew that has fallen on leaves. You know, that can be washed off though. If you want to check out a video about a very different member of the felted scale family, check out my video on tea tree flower galls. Thanks for watching.